Today we're making lip balm, making use of these. This is a uh, naturally balmy hyaluronic acid pearls, which are an oil soluble version of hyaluronic acid. They are mixed uh, hyaluronic acid and triglycerides, which means that you can put them in oil soluble products. So what we're going to do is make a lip balm. In here, I have some jojoba oil. And to that, I'm going to add some castor oil. As well as the castor oil, I'm also going to add some mango butter. This will give some hardness. It's also extremely moisturizing and it's one of the least greasy butters. Then for hardness, um, I'm going to use beeswax. If you prefer, you can use candelilla wax or a combination of candelilla and carnauba. Um, or other vegan waxes are available, it's up to you. That all goes in there. And then because it is heat stable, and obviously it needs to be because you need to melt these down because everything comes in pellet form, make sure you label stuff, otherwise it's really easy to get stuff confused. Um, we're going to put the hyaluronic acid pearls in here as well. And that is our oil phase. That's all of our meltable ingredients um, and uh, everything. That's all going to go in a water bath, which is one to two inches of water. And we're now going to melt that down um, to make it liquid and ready to add our other ingredients. While that's heating, we'll prepare our tray. I've got one of these. I just got this on Amazon. It'll be linked via my Amazon shop link below. And same with these tubes. Um, you need to make sure you get tubes that actually fit into the moulds that you're buying. Um, so it's a good job to buy them together and measure what size. Um, and then you just take these and just slot them in like that. And then you see when you pour, you can do that and then they come with a scraper so that you can scrape off any excess afterwards so that's really really quite good just make sure that you balance that out so when it stands up it doesn't fall over like that pretty obvious but anyway let's do this now There we go, that's all we're going to get out of this batch, possibly a bit less, so I'm going to leave it at that. And then you can see it just stands up on its own now. So now we've melted that down and we've held it there just for a little while just to make sure that everything is completely melted because sometimes it can look melted and it actually isn't. Um, and we're going to just stir that around a little bit and now we need to take the temperature. And we need to let that cool for just a little while so that we can add our flavour oil and our vitamin E. If you want to add some colour, then you can add some colour as well. You can separate this into different beakers to make different colours and then just use lip safe pigment or some lip safe mica and mix that in really well to make sure that it's pigmented. How pigmented you want it will depend on whether you just want like a sheer colour across the lips or if you want like a proper pigmented thing. But if you're doing that, you might as well make lipstick. So. Um, you can check out my lipstick ebook, which I'll link below, and that goes through how to make that. But anyway, back to lip balm. Let's leave this to cool, and we'll come back when we're ready to add the water. Okay, I admit I forgot about that for a bit, and we've ended up with it solidifying, so I've had to heat it up a little bit again. Um, just make sure that your flavour oil and your vitamin E can take whatever temperature it is while it's still liquid. We want it just liquid enough to pour um so let's let's go ahead and add our flavor oil you don't have to add flavor and um, it's completely up to you 
Um, but vitamin E is necessary because you want to protect your oils from rancidity and that's what vitamin E does. This is a clear vitamin E from TKB Trading, but you can use any vitamin E. Um, it's not a preservative, it's just an antioxidant. So just add that in, stir it around nicely. And yeah, we just want to pour this before it solidifies because it does solidify quite quick. Um, so yeah, you're not adding these at the optimal temperature, but you're adding these before it becomes too solid to add them at all. So once we're happy with that all mixed in, Now we can take our tray and pour this in. Neater than me. But this is exactly why you have the scraper tool because anything <laughs> that goes over, you can then scrape off and repurpose so that you're not wasting anything. And we'll just scrape around the beaker, heat that up again, and then we can pour in the rest. Okay, so we now want to leave those to fully harden, which really shouldn't take long. Okay, we have our finished lip balm. There we go, complete with hyaluronic acid. So now we're just going to pop the lids on. And I have some labels that I had printed quite a while ago, so we'll grab one of them and just pop that on the tube there. And there we go, hyaluronic acid lip balm. That simple, thanks to that one special oil soluble ingredient. Right, well, welcome to VoiceOver Jenna. This was a complete nightmare to make because I decided to make it quite quickly and then tried to edit in iMovie and then it got held completely hostage. As some of you that will use iMovie will know, you just can't export stuff from it. So I'm sorry if this video was all over the place, but hopefully you get the idea and how good hyaluronic acid is to be oil soluble. You can do so, so much with it. I suggest you now go and watch this video, which I'll put up on the screen. This is my color changing lip balm uh, formula and maybe incorporate the hyaluronic acid in that to make the ultimate lip balm um, for all of your color changing and hyaluronic acid needs. Um, Anyway, I'll stick my patron uh, VIP shout outs up now and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And as usual, if you want the formula for this, you can find that on my Patreon, which will be linked below.